guys, welcome back to Trailosophy. Today I'm going to be going through with you guys my clothing for my winter start on the AT. Okay, so first I will go through shoes with you guys. So I'm going to be starting off with these Solomon X Ultra 2 Gore Tex shoes. So I know Gore Tex shoes are something that people are kind of anti most of the time on the trail, but I'm going to be starting off with them just because of the winter weather and walking through snow and rain and things like that. Um, I think it's going to be better for me. I know they're not going to dry out as fast if they get wet, but I'm going to be trying to take extra precautions to keep them from getting wet and we'll see how it works for me. And if it doesn't work out, I have been breaking in two pairs of shoes. These are the ones I'm going to switch to when it gets a little warmer. These are not Gore-Tex. They're also Solomon's. They are the X-Mission 3s. Um, so I've got these ready to go if the Gore-Tex just isn't working for me. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I'm going to put these to the side because they are not part of the initial start winter gear. So not really worried about these at the moment. Okay, so this is everything I'm going to have with me or on me clothing wise for my start date. So because it's winter, it's gonna be a lot heavier and so I'm hoping to shave off a lot of the weight when it gets warmer, I'll be swapping a lot of this out. I'm not gonna go through what I'm switching to today. So shoes are the Solomon X Ultras 2s um, that I'll be starting with. Now I'm gonna go through um, what's not in my clothing pack because this is just kind of like my base layer what I will most likely be wearing at all times unless it's raining. Um, so socks, I have the Injinji toe sock liners. I've used these before and I really like them. Um, so I'm going to keep using them and see how it goes on the AT. Uh, then I will have a pair of smart wools. I really like these. Um, these are like a mid-weight. I have a mid-weight and then I have a lightweight and a thicker weight for sleeping that are in here. Um, then I'll be doing ex officio underwear, um, just a really lightweight sports bra. Um, then I'll have, this is a Lululemon, I forgot what it's called, I'll put it in the description. It's a like moisture wicking, really breathable, long sleeve shirt and it's supposed to be like antibacterial or something somehow I don't know um, so that's kind of cool then I have got these Hallie Hansen base layer pants um, that are really comfortable and these are supposed to be all season I think they're the like women's winter ski team base layer so that's cool too um, and then I have a soft shell pair of pants. These are definitely going to be going as soon as it starts to get warm, but I am very cold natured. Um, and these are really, really comfortable. These are REI. I think they're called like scree line or something. Um, so I'll be starting off with those outside of my base layer. So that is kind of the first line of defense clothing that I will always be wearing so I don't have it fitting into my clothes bag because I'm always going to have you know something on so this is just perfect for the clothing I'm not wearing um, which some of this I will be wearing over like my fleece or my down jacket even over this even when I'm not in camp but it fits everything else so that is that next I'll go through accessories so this is just a hat that's pretty lightweight. I haven't decided if I'm gonna bring this or not. So if you guys have any comments on if I should or should not bring a hat, I'm kind of thinking about maybe mailing it to myself when it gets a little warmer. But I know a pro of having a hat is to wear it under your rain gear. So it kind of just keeps that like longer hood um, out of the rain. But I don't know, we'll see. So let me know if you have any comments on the hat. Um, these I know most people don't start with. I'm going to bring them for the winter parts because I'm trying to avoid getting hurt. I'm kind of clumsy and I can definitely see myself 
slipping on the ice in the winter time and especially because this year has been colder than most years so there's more ice and snow than last year um, so I'm preparing for that so these are just like micro spikes um, if you watch my other video on winter hiking layers then there's more detail on those in there so they just slip right over my shoes um, and they're actually not that heavy compared to most micro spikes. So definitely going to be ditching these as fast as possible, but probably going to start off with them for safety's sake. Um, so what's left in my accessories, I've got a buff. This is one of those buffs that's, um, I think they call it polar tech, so it's like got a fleece part and then a regular part, which is nice because I can use this kind of like a scarf and on my head and very multifunctional. So that's my buff. Um, I have my glove layering system. So I've got the smart wool, merino wool liners, the fleece gloves, which I'm thinking about swapping out to mittens, fleece mittens. Haven't quite decided yet. But yeah, so that. And then I have the um, waterproof minimalist gloves and these are really really light and they're awesome I really like them so that's gloves then I've also got a hat um, it's kind of like fleece lined on the inside and it's really lightweight um, I think it's gonna be all I'll need hat wise especially considering that I have the buff as well that's fleece lined so I can also use that if I'm still cold and then these I'm really excited about these are gaiters and they're from ZPAX and they're extremely lightweight compared to every other option that I looked at. Um, so I think this will be really helpful in keeping my shoes dry, uh, which is really important with these Gore-Tex shoes. I don't want the insides of them getting wet or they will take a long time to dry out. So I think these are really going to help with that in combination with my other rain gear as well. So we'll move on to rain gear. Um, so my rain gear, these are Outdoor Research. Um, I think they're called the Helium. I got the same brand for the pants and the rain jacket. Um, so they zip right into their little back pocket, which is cool. And these are the pants. They weigh like five ounces, so not bad for the weight at all. Um, they're definitely not flattering pants, but that doesn't matter at all because they're going to work and that's what's important. And the same with the rain jacket, it goes into its little pocket. So these are things I'm probably going to be keeping in the brain of my pack so that I can access it easily. Um, some of you may have noticed that this is not the rain jacket I was considering bringing um, in my winter hiking layers video and that's because I bought it because somebody told me at the store I bought it from that it weighed like four ounces and it ended up weighing nine which I found out when I was putting the description in the video of the last one so I ended up swapping out to one that weighs like five ish or something because um, that does make a big difference when it comes down to it so I switched I did really love the other rain jacket though. I liked the soft material and I wish they had that soft material one in something lighter, but I haven't found that yet. So that's the rain gear I'm going with. Um, next I'll talk about these. These are the Enlightened Equipment booties. I said they were down in another video. They're not down. They are synthetic, but that doesn't really matter as long as they keep my feet warm. Haven't tried these yet. So I'll be trying them out soon and I'll let you guys know how they work. I'm really excited about these. Okay, so this is my primary clothes bag. All of those are kind of accessory things that will be in different compartments of my pack. Uh, these are actually probably gonna go in the bottom of my pack. Uh, I have a waterproof pack liner, so they'll probably be at the bottom and then my sleeping bag on top of it. Um, yeah, so this is my clothes bag. So in here, I have got actually quite a lot of stuff in this little bag. This is my down puffy Sierra Designs. I've used this before. I've even used this in 
below freezing temperatures in Norway and all kinds of places and I really like it. So this will be coming with me. I like that it has this hood. Um, it's pretty low profile, but I can still fit like, you know, a hat or a buff or a scarf or whatever underneath it. Um, it's just a really great jacket. And the down in here is water resistant down and it's 850 fill. So it's super warm and I really like it. Then I have got my fleece quarter zip. I've used this a lot, also really like it. Um, it's just kind of a basic, nothing fancy about this quarter zip, but it's gonna do the trick. And then for my sleep shirt, this is, um, I'm really only bringing two outfits. It's kind of one sleep outfit, one hiking outfit. That's it. I'm not gonna do anything other than that, but I don't wanna be sleeping in my wet hiking clothes. I want those to be drying out, and these will be my always dry sleep clothes. So this is a smart wool crew neck um, long sleeve shirt. Um, I like the feel of the smart wool. It's soft and comfortable. I think it will be good to sleep with in the winter. I have an extra pair of underwear. Um, this is my sleep leggings. These are Nike um, and they are the Hyper Warm, Nike Pro Hyper Warm. So these are like fuzzy on the inside. Um, so I really like that. So that's kind of like my sleep um, base layer. I have two extra pairs of socks. These are my sleep socks. These are smart wools. These are the heavier weight, so they're gonna be warmer. And this is my backup hiking socks. So two pairs of socks to hike in that I'll switch out and one pair of always dry socks to sleep in. These will not be hiking socks. And then this is kind of an extra, and I don't think these are gonna stay with me very long at all, but these are fleece leggings that I can put on outside of these leggings. I think this will be really nice to have in camp. Uh, they're really not that heavy, so I think it's gonna be worth bringing for the start. Um, if I end up not needing them, I'll send them back. So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, this is my sleep clothes. And that is everything clothing wise. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please leave me your comments, like, subscribe to my channel. Um, again, I've really been enjoying your comments. So thank you to everyone who is keeping up with the channel. I am looking forward to getting started on the AT. Thanks again, guys. Bye.